As you may imagine, it is impossible to give a comprehensive definition of the content of customary law at any given moment. At a minimum, we can say that many of the general provisions contained in the main IHL treaties are also of customary nature. It is also admitted that many customary rules regulate non-international armed conflicts, thus reducing the disparity between the legal regulation of the two forms of conflicts. But the gap has not been completely eroded. The customary IHR rules that regulate non-international armed conflicts are primarily concerned with the conduct of hostilities. But there are at least two main issues where customary international does not create equivalence between the two conflicts. These issues are the status of combatant and the law of belligerent occupation. In an international armed conflict, combatants are given a special status. This has two important consequences. Firstly, they enjoy the combatant privilege, which prevents them from being the object of criminal prosecutions for having taken part in the hostilities. Secondly, when they are captured, they must be given a protective status, the status of prisoner of war. Equivalent protections do not exist in non-international armed conflict. No status of prisoners of war must be given to members of armed groups. And those fighters are not barred from prosecution for having taken arms, even if they respect IHL. It is a major distinction between international armed conflict and non-international armed conflict. This has been criticized as it reduces the incentive for armed groups to respect IHL since they can be prosecuted for participating in the conflict even if they respect IHL. In order to minimize the negative consequences that stem from this distinction, Additional Protocol 2 recommends states to grant members of armed groups with amnesties for their participation in the hostilities. The second main difference between non-international armed conflicts and international armed conflicts is the law of occupation, which only applies in international armed conflicts. The law of occupation imposes obligations but also gives rights to the occupied power. Therefore, even if an armed group occupies for a long time a significant part of the territory of a state, like think about the situation of ISIL in Syria and Iraq, the law of belligerent occupation does not apply.